and welcome back to Notre Dame Day. And I am honored to be joined right now by Notre Dame linebacker, a junior from St. Paul, Minnesota, James Onwalu. Thank you for taking some time. Going? Thank you. Nice to see you. You've had an interesting time here on the football field, recruited as one of the top wide receivers in the country. Yeah. Then you moved to safety. Now you're a linebacker. You started eight games last year. I guess some would say you're a little undersized to be a linebacker, but you're yeah. getting a lot of playing time. How's that going for you? It's going great. I mean, it's been a smooth transition. Um, you know, it's a little different on defense, but I've got a bunch of guys around me that have really helped me out being in there with Joe and uh, Jalen, you couldn't be in there and learning from anybody better. So now, of course, you played a little defense in high school. I know in high school, though, you were an offensive star. Yeah. What's it like to go from a guy who was running away from people to score touchdowns to a guy who's running to people to hit them? No, yeah, it's much different, um, especially at the college level. It's a different game and a totally different scheme throughout the week. So. It's been quite the transition, but like I said, it's going fairly smoothly. And I know you've said in the past when people have said, well, what about you at linebacker? You like to play physical football. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, that's one of my one of my strong suits, and I think that's what Coach Kelly saw, you know, and uh, one of the reasons he brought me over from offense. I, I like to get into it no matter what the guy, what the size of the opponent is, so. You know, I often, when I talk to people about how important the student part of student athlete here is at Notre Dame, unlike a lot of places, sometimes students capitalized and athlete is not. Yeah. And you're kind of the epitome of the student athlete. You're a finance major in the Mendoza College of Business. How do you balance it? Give me an average day in your life, say, during football season. During the football season, it's pretty busy. Um, the training room opens at about 5.30 or 6. You're in there getting your body worked on, uh, get a workout in after that, and then go to class around 9.30. Uh, spend your most of your day uh, in the classroom learning and then head back over to the Goog, a little bit more treatment, get taped up, spend some time in the film room, uh, about an hour, hour and a half before practice. Uh, head out to the practice fields, get your work done out there, get in probably around 5.30 or 6, watch a little bit more film since Jalen and Joe like to do a little bit more work after, uh, and then eat dinner and get, get to your homework probably 8.30ish. And really, during the course of the entire year, assuming as we always do, you're in a bowl game, you get about maybe four weeks off, three of them in the summer between the end of the regular uh, spring semester and the start of summer school. But you're not going to the beach. You have some special plans. Tell us what you're planning. No, to do. yeah, I wish I was heading to the beach, but I'm heading out to New York. Uh, Going to be doing a little bit of work with Bank of America Merrill Lynch uh, as a financial analyst for a uh, trader on the trading floor. And I know you worked very hard at this, but when both uh, Bank of America and Morgan Stanley, where your brother works, yeah. uh, found out that uh, you were looking for an internship, they actually kind of started a little bidding war to try to get you uh, to, to pick one over the other. What was that like to get that kind of interest while you're still in college from uh, two of the leading financial firms in America? Oh, I mean, it's pretty exciting. Uh, it's a com very competitive industry. And uh, they want to get people that really want to come in and work hard. So it's tough turning down the uh, Morgan Stanley offer. But uh, I'm pretty excited to be in a strong ND base at Bank of America. And sometimes people get, uh, they're somewhat cynical about the commitment of the coaching staff and Coach Kelly to the academic side. And, and being here with your teammates, very important when that summer session starts. But when Coach Kelly found out you had this opportunity, what did he do? He actually had gave me, ended up giving me an extra week. It's usually a 10-week ten, uh, ten internship out in New York. Uh, thankfully, Bank of America is working with me to, you know, shorten that up a little bit so I can still get an experience and work with them. But yeah, Coach Kelly was very understanding and uh, wanted me to pursue this opportunity as well. So I'll be there for an extra week, but then I'll be getting back here and ready to work. James, always a pleasure. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Good luck both Appreciate in New York and back on the football Thank field. you very much.